Hello everybody and welcome back to Teacups and Blossoms. I want to start off today's tea review video by saying that I'm so sorry I didn't post any videos last week. And my excuse for that is that I was sick and in bed all week. My reasons for not making a video while I was sick was because one, I really, really didn't feel like it and I just wasn't feeling good. And the second reason is that I was coughing and sneezing a lot and I didn't think you guys would want to watch me cough and sneeze all over tea leaves while trying to make a video. So I just thought it was better for everybody if I just waited until this week to continue making videos. So as if you remember from my last Yabo video, I opened up a package from Tivana and in that package I had gotten the white chocolate peppermint rooibos tea from Tivana. Obviously. I didn't think that's what it's through. And I was planning on doing that last week, but since I didn't get to, I thought that I would do it this week. So, the white chocolate peppermint comes in this foil package, just like this. So, this is what the tea leaves look like before they brewed. As you can see, it's a mixture of small and medium-sized leaves. I didn't personally see any full leaves in there. And these little white, let's see, there we go. Those little white pieces are the peppermint. And I like how you can see the pieces of chocolate and there's a twig in there and different leaves. I love seeing twigs and stuff like that in my tea because it makes me feel like it's so much more natural and healthier. So what I do when I am testing teas, I note three things. I log the head notes, which are my first impressions of the tea, the first things that just hit me when I take my first sip. Then I do the body notes, which are the secondary rings. What do I notice next? What's not as, like, bam, as the first notes, but they're kind of in the middle. They're the next things that I notice. And then the third thing are the end notes, which is the aftertaste. What's the last things that you taste, what's lingering in your mouth. So I'm going to read uh, my notes, which I have right here. So for my head notes, I quickly jotted down three words. I said sweet, gentle, and smooth. Those were definitely the, th like the three words I would use to describe how I felt with my f at first. And so when you're tasting teas, I suggest that you have like a little piece of paper next to you and just jot down the first three things that come to your mind when tasting this tea. What does it feel like? What's the first taste um, that you taste? <laughs> what are the first things that you notice? Because they come very fast. And before you know it, you're tasting the secondary ring. So you want to just pick it right up and write it down. So for the body notes, I said it tastes like artificial chocolate has a nice dessert flavor and a peppermint undertone. So when I'm smelling this tea, I smell the chocolate and I smell coffee. There is, I don't think there's any coffee in this tea at all and I didn't taste any coffee, but it definitely has a coffee-esque scent to it. And I kind of smell the peppermint, like when I'm just smelling the leaves like in this little ramekin, I can't smell the peppermint. But when I smell the tea leaves, like for out of the bag, I can definitely smell it from the bag, but not from the ramekin. So it's kind of hard. I don't really know what to say. So artificial chocolate. Do you guys know what I'm talking about when I say the little chocolate hearts that come in the big bag from like the dollar store? And they just, you can tell that it's dollar store chocolate. That's kind of what it tasted like. It was very cheap and waxy. Like when I was brewing the tea, it had like all these little bubbles at the top and the longer I let sit there, like the bigger they got and the more um, I gathered at the top. And when I was drinking the tea, I could definitely taste the waxiness. Like it was definitely in the mouth when I was drinking it. It felt like I was drinking melted wax. It was weird. So I think we all know that wax is in chocolate. So, you know, I was kind of expecting it, but there was a lot in here. So that wasn't I didn't really enjoy that part. Night, nice dessert flavor. So it definitely tastes like chocolate and peppermint and for somebody who likes chocolate and peppermint like that, I think that would be very good. Just for me, this tea, like I said earlier, was 
really sweet. And I'm not a very sweet person. Well, taste-wise. And what I mean by the peppermint undertone is when I'm smelling the leaves, I can definitely smell the peppermint. But when I take my first sip, that's not the first thing that I notice. The peppermint is very, it's definitely underneath the chocolate. It's like first the chocolate and then the peppermint and it's kind of like the, definitely a secondary note. Now for the end notes, your aftertaste, or I also call them the tail notes. That's what I wrote down here, but end notes, tail notes, it doesn't really matter. Tail end, it's, it's your aftertaste. So the aftertaste, I was like peppermint all the way. So what I do when I'm tasting the aftertaste is just like let my mouth hang open a little bit and I breathe through my nose and my mouth and I just kind of sit there and like try to get the aftertaste. And it was definitely peppermint, all peppermint. I tasted more peppermint in the aftertaste than I did in the tea, which was kind of strange. But I also tasted a little bit of the chocolate. So the, I really liked the aftertaste. I was like walking around, I was like, oh, it tastes so good, even though I'm not drinking the tea anymore. So I think that I like the aftertaste of the tea way more than the actual tea itself or how the tea leaves smell. And this tea definitely has a creamy coating when you're drinking it. What I mean by that is when I drink it, I felt like it was very creamy. It was just like covering my mouth. And it was very nice. And afterwards, it left my mouth feeling a little bit dry. But I seem to find that is basically the same kind of thing with all teas. I haven't found a tea that hasn't left my mouth... <coughs> just a little bit dry afterwards. I'm really glad that I only bought two ounces to start off. And the reason I bought it is because, I think I said this in my Yabo video, is that it was on sale. And I was like, oh, well, it's on sale. I guess I'll get it, you know, perfect time. I don't want to spend like $8 on two ounces. And part of me wanted to get a lot more. I'm like, it's on sale. It's not always going to be on sale. I'm so glad I only bought two ounces because... I do, I'm not a very big fan of this tea. So I decided that I'm just going to save the rest of these tea leaves. That's why I didn't make a cup of tea today because I didn't want to just pour it out afterwards. I'm going to save this tea for tea exchanges or if I have another friend that I find out likes the chocolate and peppermint tea. So I'm just going to save it for somebody else who enjoys this kind of tea. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if there's any kind of teas that you would like me to try, or you suggest are your favorites, let me know in the comments, because I want to taste more tea, 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 tea. Also, I wanted to say that I'm, I'm kind of researching tea exchanges right now. So if you have any tips for a beginner who's getting into tea exchanges and that sort of thing, if you could let me know in the comments or if you want to do a tea exchange, let me know because I'm definitely interested. I hope your day has been amazing and it is full of tea and happiness. Until next time with my imaginary cup again, <laughs> cheers.